it's going to detect these poles right here and go up over them. In this one here, what we're going to show you is pretty much a big thing of a lot of drones is they can't actually follow the train when they're over the top of water. We're going to show how the pros, what they can do is they can follow the train not only on the, on the uh, land but also over the water as well. They detect the water, whereas a lot of other brands, they actually go into the water. Uh, we found that with a lot of customers, they're coming. Uh, so it's handy for like, say if you're doing water hyacinth and uh, you're going up and down over the gullies and those sort of things, having the terrain that can follow the water uh, having the drone that can actually follow the terrain of the water is also a big thing as well. So we've set up a little area here. You can see what we're going to do. It's going to dip down this end here and then follow the water, come back, go back and forth. I'll show you on the actual screen here. You probably can't see that, but so what we're doing, it's going over the edge here, going over the water and coming back. Just a simple, a simple quick little, uh, little operation. It's going to start the operation. We'll move out of the way. <coughs> Off she goes. I think I've got it set at four meters, but I can change that anyway if we need to. It's gonna move over here. It's gonna start its job there, and you can see now it's off working. So when it gets here, you can see it goes down to the water now. It's actually following the top of the water there. So when it comes back here, it's actually gonna slow down a little bit when it gets to this edge, mainly because what it's, it's got obstacle avoidance on as well. So it's gonna detect these poles right here and go up over them, just like that. See how it goes up. Now it's following the terrain of the ground. And it continues on and drops back down. Something simple just like that. Little things like that makes these things just a lot more user friendly. You, know, you don't have to worry about it at all. You just set it off and off it goes. You can set it as well. You can set it to do just a, a fixed height across the water as, as, if you want as well. Um, but normally, like it doesn't, the terrain following on these is unreal, so we'll just use that. Look at that, beautiful.